guys, Emily here and Ryan behind the camera. The way we hunt, we are in Bentonville, Arkansas today at the Backcountry Hunters and Anglers Black Bear Palooza? Bonanza. Bonanza. I've been calling it a Palooza for a while. I don't know why, but it's a Bonanza. It's not a Palooza. I don't really know what the difference is. Leave a comment down below and tell me what the difference between a Palooza and a Bonanza. Now I can't even speak. Anyway, this is the first annual Black Bear Bonanza in Arkansas. Oklahoma may be here too. We're gonna have bear biologists here. We're at the uh, Benton County Quail Barn. They've got raffles going on. They've got Clay Newcomb from Meat Eater here. Uh, Mystery Ranch is here. Lots of things going on. We're gonna show you around and let you see what we see. And hopefully this is gonna be cool and just grows bigger and bigger every year. So this is the way we hunt. Let's go. This boy here is about a 98 pound alligator snapping turtle. Open up for the camera. There you go. There he is. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Timber, yeah. Yeah, timber rattlesnake. And your copperhead. Pretty good female copperhead. <laughs> of it will render into liquid oil which is what you want and then there'll be these harder pieces of, of cracklings when you when you grind it you get a higher percentage liquid oil less percentage of solid you know waste material and so what we've got here is just a turkey cooker with an aluminum pot and pan and a strainer just like if you were frying catfish and uh, but you can render fat with anything. You can render it in a crock pot, you can render it in a pot on your stove. Any way that you can have a heat source, you can render fat. So I'm excited about this. This is a 
the main thing that I like to hear in an Al Hooter is that realistic tone. You know, and Al has, um, um, our judge here could, could tell us the science behind it, the biology behind it, but, but that, you know, they're able just to make that deep, you know, that real unique sound. And, uh, no, 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 I'm just a little guy, I can't do that. Well, okay, but I gotta explain a little bit more behind this, because... Did, were you gonna <laughs> I was gonna ask you to please explain, while you're explaining why we're doing an owl hoot contest, which is kind of something you do with turkeys at the Black Bear Bonanza. Good question. We're just having an owl hooting contest because it's fun, okay? That's the only reason. Could you use that to help do anything else in it? I bet there, I bet half the people in here that have hunted out in the mountains in their life use an owl hoot to signal to their buddy. You know, like if you hear me owl hoot twice, you know this happened. Or when you hear me owl hoot, I'm going to be going back to the truck. So it's a very common thing to use, and that's why you need it to be realistic. I've had some people in my life that have told me that realism and owl hooting is not significant, and that is a lie. My boss tells me that that non-realistic animal calls, you know, it's like, it's like, it's not important, but it's very important. I've seen some of the unrealistic things that your boss does, and uh, to, to make sure turkeys gobble, and yeah. I'm on your side. Exactly, that's what I thought. shut the world down bears more than anybody we want bears to thrive more than anybody does there's nobody on planet earth that wants there to be more bears in arkansas than me and myron means and a bunch of you guys and that's the truth it's a multi-step sell to convince someone with no history no connection to hunting 
to say killing a bear is actually a good thing for the big picture. I mean, that's a multi-step sell. It's like, well, yeah, we are taking one individual out, but, you know, for the habitat that we have, that animal needs to be taken out, and there's selective measures, and the game and fish is monitoring, you know, multi-step sell. Said all that to say, um, hunting a bear in the national forest on purpose, hunting them like deer, is by far the hardest hunt that I do in North America. He's and not going to believe you. Yeah, that's, that's, where did you kill a bear? Oregon. Oregon, kill a bear in Oregon. Oh, that's cool. Good deal. That's great. Baby. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're about to leave Arkansas. We've been at BHA, the Black Bear Palooza or Bonanza. You guys decide which one's better, but it's actually the Black Bear Bonanza. We've been here, we've seen uh, the bear biologists from Missouri and Arkansas come and talk. We got to watch the Bear Grease Render podcast live. That was the first time that that's ever happened. We got to see pack goats. We ate some fried chicken, bought some t-shirts, did all the cool stuff. I think that this is a, a really good deal if you guys are black bear hunters. Oh, they, all, they auctioned off a uh, black bear hunt in Canada that went for $4,200. I think retail's like $4,400. We were going to bid on it, but it's gonna be the same time that we are gonna be in Quebec. So we did not get to bid on it. But y'all, I think this is gonna be a big deal. This is the first one that they've ever done. We had a great time, glad we came out. It wasn't a bust. So we will see them again next year. Come out and support them. And keep following, like, subscribe, comment about anything. We like y'all the comment, and uh, the more you guys subscribe, the better it is for us. Now we got a three and a half hour drive back to Oklahoma, so we'll see you there. Bye.